I would like to say good morning, but I found out my trail pal, Landria, my little Lego lady, she's, uh, she's gone hiking off on her own. I'm quite sad. I put the uh, feelers out on the Facebook posts to see if anybody finds her. And if they do, uh, I'd greatly appreciate you all, uh, I don't know, picking her up and, I don't know, meeting up with me and yeah, reuniting us. I miss her. Uh, I am deeply sad with the loss of my trail pal. However, I did find a nice deli that made a great breakfast sandwich. Fresh meat and mm, definitely hit the spot. Had some mango nectar and uh, also got a can of Red Bull for a little more pick-me-up later on. And uh, yeah, still about 0 .7, 0 0.6 from the trail. It's a long walk to Pauline and back, at least where I was. <sighs> One good thing is the humidity's gone. There's a nice crisp, cool air, and there's cars whizzing by, not even offering me a ride. My favorite part about doing laundry is knowing within a hundred feet of the trail, you're gonna get soaked, have dirty socks, and it'll feel like you never even did laundry. Even though it hasn't rained, I'm walking through this field. It's about a, I'd say hip high, sometimes up to my shoulders. And uh, yeah, the dew has completely soaked my socks and shoes to where there is water pouring out of the side of my shoes. When I say pouring, only because my Ultra Lone Peak 4s are ripped on both sides thanks to uh, Pennsylvania. But good thing is, is I got a, uh, Another set of shoes being delivered to me out in Massachusetts in about 45, 50 miles. Yeah. So, if you ever do your laundry while you're out here, enjoy your dry clothes for about 10 minutes and the trail shall put you in your place. Operation Dry Socks and Dry Shoes, Trail Winds. Happy hiking. Supposed to be the morning uh, or the day or two of people just uh, losing stuff on the trail. So far, I found a uh, a water bag, a soy water bag, a uh, umbrella, a glove, a hat. What else have I found? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh well. Hopefully, I can find the owner of the. Uh, Saw your water bag because I'd really hate to see somebody without a way to get their water. <laughs> I have made it to the Wiley Shelter, and this one has a Dover Plains little free library. Take a book, leave a book. It's got cheese, tampons, and two. I think that's a pair of underwear. I'm not going to touch that. And a pen and some books. I noticed the. Uh, they actually have tent pads over there. I don't know how I'd do that with my stakes. That's a nice little uh, older shelter. It's got a tin roof. And let's see, it's got water nearby. It's got the privy out there and it's got Ollie sitting right over there. He's a flip flopper. And what else do they got? Invasive alert, sticky stage, sage. Leave no trace and of course, don't cut down anything and don't ride anything with wheels. That one hell of a fireplace. <whistles> oh yes. Gateway to New England. I've made it to Connecticut. And that's the back side of Connecticut. Looked larger on the map, but. Tenth state. <laughs> hey there, me again. 
Uh, I've been chatting back and forth with a, a super fan, as she uh, calls herself. Um, and she's from here in Connecticut. And she said, the moment I cross the border, the section I'll be, uh, that I'm hiking right now is beautiful and relaxing. And you know what? She was absolutely right. This is gorgeous. Man. <laughs> oh, wow. Here in about four miles, I think, I'm going to take a little blue blaze off trail, go down to a deli, get some lunch, get a beverage, and, uh, yeah, relax a little bit for lunch. Dry out my socks from that really wet field I walked through earlier. They're still soaking wet, but I don't care because this is absolutely just gorgeous. Happy trails. I've got about 0.6 miles before I can take the Blue Blaze into uh, town. However, this is really nice. This is right next to the 10 Mile River shelter and campsites. I wonder how long that river is. Yeah, thoughts going through my head. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Or as I like to say, gorgeous. Oh yeah. Happy trails. I have arrived at the Bulls Bridge in Kent, Connecticut. I was told right on the other side of the bridge, somewhere by the road, hopefully by the road, there's a uh, market with a deli and cold loggers. Oh yeah. Let's see. Oh, what a beautiful view. Oh, I got a car behind me. Oh shit. Shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna stop filming. Hey, it's official. I am in Kent, Connecticut. Took a right after that bridge, passing by the Bulls Bridge Inn. Nice car. And I have found the country store right over here next to the Gulf gas station. <sighs> Time to get some grub on. i take this pack off. Sit in the shade for a little bit and enjoy it. We have a bunch of Licky Chewies, frozen stuff, gelato, Ben and Jerry's, uh huh. Oh, yes. Everything a happy hiker could possibly want. Let's see. Wow. This is a really good resupply spot. Oh, time to pick something to drink and eat. Good afternoon. I spent about a good hour, hour and a half here over at the Bulls Bridge Country Store eating, drinking, and talking with other hikers. I just uh, had the picture here right before that. Uh, had a chance to dry out my shoes, my socks, and now I'm going to go ahead and head back out towards the trail. I'm not sure how far I'll get today, but it's been a good day, so I'm happy. Till next time. I was way, way up there, and uh, I'm not proud to say I've had my fifth official fall. The strange thing is, it's not raining, it's not wet, it was those leaves coming all the way down. I, I slid and bounced on my, uh, uh, my butt a little bit, and uh, wow, you gotta take it really easy going down some of those, get a little, uh, I don't know, what's the word? 
anxious. Oops, sorry. Oh. <laughs> a little anxious to get to the tent site and relax for the night. That's when I usually start making mistakes and slipping, rolling my ankle, doing crazy things, but wow. I did meet a nice couple. Uh, you saw them in the, uh, the photo before this portion of the video. Uh, her name was One Wish and his name was Rocket Pack or Jet Pack. One of the two. And uh, they started last year, however, they had to get off the trail, but now they're back on the trail and finishing it up. Really, really cute couple. I like them. They'll be uh, tenting out near the shelter where I'm going here in a couple miles. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the phone away because I see more of these leaves and I don't want to fall all the way down or bounce off my rear end. <laughs> Till next time, happy trails and steady footing. Yep, once again, I don't have my shirt on because I just took a bath in a stream and I'm using my trekking poles as a uh, dryer. I do have shorts on, so yeah. <laughs> not gonna make mistake, uh, or not making the same mistake as hike naked day on the wrong day of the year. You know, that's kind of awkward, especially when children are involved. But yeah, another great use to dry out your shirt while you're walking. And to uh, let everybody know, you've got a red shirt and it's wet. <laughs> I got about 0.7 miles and I will be at my tent site and then I will be done for the day. I think this is day 87. I think. All I know is it's uh, uh, the 27th of May. So, yeah, sweet. Till next time, happy trails and dry shirts. I'm getting water for the night. I got my little C-Knock bag right there. However, on the other end of my C-Knock bag, I got a, let's just say a tasty cold, getting cold beverage that I'll have with my uh, deli sandwich that I picked up from the uh, shop earlier. So tonight I'm eating and drinking good. Isn't that just beautiful? I'm tented up there some somewhere. I'll, I'll, I'll show you that in a little bit. Till next time. Over here we have the whole campsite. We got one wish over there and their tent. I set up a little bit further closer to the shelter. Uh -huh. Lovely little bear box over there for us to put our food in so the bears do not eat our food. And oh yeah you can see my little tent over there. My red shirt drying out even more. Hopefully it's dry by morning. I got more camping spots out back that way. I just took this one little flat spot because it was close to the table. The privy back there. And that's about it. Yeah. That's my home for tonight. Cheers. Good morning. Day 89. Or 88, one of the two, I don't know. <laughs> kind of lost track, but I'm in Connecticut. It's been a beautiful morning. I've been walking along the House of Tonic River, which is just on the other side. You saw some of that video in the uh, previous, uh, previous video, uh, there you go. <laughs> and uh, trying to make it to a little market over near the next village over, just a couple more miles. I need coffee. I need a deli sandwich because that really tasted good last night and I want to load up on those, like two. And, uh, but yeah, this is my view. It's just a beautiful morning. With the exception of they're calling for rain. Yay. <laughs> Till next time, happy trails.